Today we will be looking at the basic tools within Adobe Animate that we are going to use. And this is the selection tool, the transform tool, the lasso tool, the brush tool, the shape tool, and the line tool. And we're using the same workspace that we set up at the beginning of the course. I have my stage, my timeline, tools are over to the left, all of my other properties and other panels are to the right. So let's start with shapes. So the first thing is I have my layer set up and if I want to start to make a shape, I can just click and drag and you'll notice that it dropped in a keyframe. Now with this tool, I can move that shape around. If I use the transform tool, it actually gives me anchor points around the shape. So now I can actually resize that if I want. And also uh, this little dot here is the pivot point of that shape. For instance, if I roll my mouse over the corner of an anchor point, it allows me to rotate the shape. And because this anchor point is in the center, it's going to rotate from the center. But let's say I wanted to look like it was a tumbling square or one that, you know, just kind of kept rotating um, or falling. I can move where that anchor point is. So that's going to be really important. Imagine that being important when you're wanting to, say, move a shoulder uh, for an arm or something like that. That'll be really, really key to what you're doing. Now, if I have my selection tool, watch what happens. I don't have the shape selected, but when I roll over next to this edge of it, I see this little arc. This means that I can actually reshape what I created, which is great if I'm wanting to like create an animation um, from a shape. So I could literally make this like a little monster if I wanted and um, just have fun kind of reshaping it however I want. So that is the actual um, selection tool and the transform tool. Now I want to show you the difference with the line and let's say I want to do that with a different color. I can pick from any of these pre uh, fab colors. So if I use a line, you're going to notice, um, let's go into properties here and let's say I'm like, ah, I want my stroke to be bigger. I can go in with my properties and I can change the stroke, the vector. Um, the shape is made by anchor points, like from end to end and uh, with a line. If I used a paintbrush, and uh, let's go back. I'm going to go to properties of my brush. I'm going to make my brush a little bigger. Okay. Now, if I select this with my sub selection tool, you're going to see that now instead of a line, it's more of a complete object or shape. So again, I can go in and really create some interesting shapes. Um, from a shape. So I could make something very Picasso-esque if I wanted. And um, that's the beauty of um, the brush tool at action as an actual character creator. And the last thing I just want to point out is uh, your color palette. So the solid square is your fill. So this is going to change whatever color your shape is going to be on the inside. You can use the color wheel. If you actually happen to know the exact hex code, you can type it in. Maybe you're trying to match something. Um, if I don't want an outline, I click on that and then I literally choose no stroke. So now if I wanted to make a circle, could use the oval tool and if I hold the shift key down first, click and drag, 
then now I have a circle. So this could be the beginnings of a ball, for instance. So that is the key on shapes.